It's a city without a welcome sign, just a name on a bridge along Interstate 25 in northern Colorado. But come Valentine's Day, thousands of people in all 50 states and some 120 countries around the world send their cards here so they can be stamped and mailed with a seal from the land of love. So the idea is for them to send their Valentines here, have them re-stamped with a cache and a cancellation stamp from the city of Loveland, which is a sweetheart city, and then sent out with that love throughout the world. Each year, about 60 volunteers spend 10 days stamping and remailing Valentine's cards. The program has been ongoing since the 1940s. Janice Gibb has been volunteering for 19 years. Because the idea is for the message to be sent to everyone who really put the time to get the envelopes here to us to cache them so they can hand out the love and the best to their friends. Elaine Phillips has been volunteering for 18 years. We get all sizes. We have had envelopes by so, you know, and we put the uh, cache into a heart on the back of them. Peaking at 300,000 cards some years ago following a Dear Abby column, the remailing program now sends out some 175,000 Valentine's cards each year. So it's been reduced a little bit, some obviously probably by the economy, by people cutting back on their mailings, but a lot to do too with electronic uh, mailing, a lot of people doing e-cards and those kind of things, but there's still a lot of romance out there, so a lot of people that still want to make sure that they get that handwritten card out to everybody across the world. Janice, Delane, and other volunteers will be here to add that special touch to cards. In Loveland, Colorado, Peter Banda.